Subsidized and unsubsidized student loans are the two most common kinds of federal student loans, but what's the difference? In today's video, we're going to talk about the key differences between these two types of loans. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about the things they have in common. Both subsidized and unsubsidized student loans are federal student loans. They're made by the Department of Education. That means they both qualify for things like public service loan forgiveness, income-driven loan forgiveness, and teacher loan forgiveness. One thing to remember about teacher loan forgiveness is that only student loans used for undergraduate education can be forgiven under that program. The major difference between subsidized and unsubsidized student loans is that interest is handled differently. Let's start by talking about how interest is handled for direct subsidized student loans. During certain times, Interest that accumulates on direct subsidized student loans is paid for by the Department of Education. Here are some of the times you won't be responsible for paying the interest on your loans. If you're enrolled in courses at least half time, if you're in the grace period, which is the period within the first six months after graduation, it's important to note that if you received a direct loan between July 1st of 2012 and July 1st of 2014, you will be responsible for paying interest that accrued during the grace period, and you won't have to pay interest if you're currently in deferment, which is a period where loan payments are paused. It's different than forbearance. In forbearance, you will still be responsible for paying interest. If you have direct unsubsidized student loans, you're always responsible for paying the interest that accumulates on those. That means if you choose not to make payments or keep up with that interest, such as when you're in school or in the grace period, that interest will actually capitalize on itself. Capitalization means any interest you haven't paid gets added to the principal balance of the loan, and then interest is calculated on that new higher balance. Once you're in active student loan repayment, both subsidized and unsubsidized student loans are treated the same. The interest accrues on a daily basis and capitalizes. The next big difference is that there are different limits on the maximum amount you can borrow. The maximum total amount of subsidized student loans you can borrow for undergraduate degree is $23,000 and up to $65,000 for independent graduate or professional students or those whose parents weren't able to get a Parent PLUS loan. It should be noted that graduate or professional students are no longer allowed to take out direct subsidized student loans after July 1st of 2012. So this limit is for borrowers who have previous courses of study. Unsubsidized student loans are available according to remaining aggregate total loan limits. I'll link up to the federal student aid limits below so you can check those out. The last major difference between subsidized and unsubsidized student loans is demonstrating financial need. In order to get a direct subsidized student loan, you must demonstrate financial need. Unsubsidized student loans are available regardless of financial need. And remember, in order to get financial aid of any kind, which does include these types of federal student loans, you must complete the FAFSA. So I want to know. What types of student loans have you had to take out? Do you have a mix of both subsidized and unsubsidized? Any private loans thrown in there? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you liked this week's video, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. There's a new video every other Wednesday. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!